Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about blimps and zeppelins within Space Engineers. Now, as I was working on a little bit of a project, this one in the background is actually created by Johnny, and as I was working through the workshop, I found this, and I thought it was a great bit of inspiration for my own Fallout build. I'm currently working on a replica of the Fallout Zeppelin, and I'm also working on a few different birds, but we'll see how that goes, and I'll probably show you that over the next week or so on. Now, while we're here, I wanted to talk a bit about the concepts of zeppelins and blimps in it. Now, the idea is actually filling a cavern with a different sort of gas, lighter than air, or even a few different formulas as well of that, and you can actually make a balloon float. But in Space Engineers, you can't do that. But I thought what would be interesting is discussing the possibilities of trapping air or oxygen within an environment like this. So at the current moment in time to breathe and take off your helmet, you can trap oxygen within an area and produce it. So what would be really cool, this would probably require a lot of coding as well, is if you could create another chemical to actually create lift itself. So by creating that lift being lighter than air or whatever it causes to float. And then you'd have to work out different sort of formers and build chambers for a blimp or a different craft to float. Just another idea, maybe I'll contact a few modders and we'll try to work something out. We'll have a quick look around this blimp. And you can see I've painted it up in the iconic Dove Beer Simpsons type logo. And I have to say something about this blimp that's beautiful is the curves in the shape. And you know that I'm a big follower and lover of a well curved and rounded ship. And just look at this, how he's managed to curve the edges. And from a distance, just look how beautiful that oval sort of blimp shape as well. And then as we come to the back, he's also created these little fins that come off. And what's great about this design is that you could just imagine taking and ripping so many different parts off and creating it into multiple different ships. Just look at the point at the end there as it comes into that area, as well as the fins at the back. Absolutely beautiful. Not super detailed interior, so as we come back inside, you can see it's hollow. But if you were working on a similar project, you could fill this with whatever you wanted, unless they do develop some sort of lift mod based on gases. That would be really cool. So inside the actual chamber itself, we've got a number of seats at the back. We've got this beautiful viewing sort of plateau where we can see the engines, the rotors up there actually repelling. We've got a Gatling tour it at the back and then as we come through the seating area you see we've got a little bit of a hole in the floor where there's a camera viewing it I quite like that little bit and then we've got two doors on the left and right side accessed by these panels here and we've got some cockpits or modded cockpits up at the front that I don't think are really necessary but it does look rather nice and here I am in the actual cockpit itself so let's give this a little bit of a test flight so you can actually hear some of the rotors actually propelling up and it is a rather fast blimp and it drifts over the landscape looking absolutely beautiful all i need now is one of them logo screens on the side where i can show the points of the game or display some duff logos but yeah the original ship that he did design comes in gray and i've just painted it up in this for a little bit of fun but at the same time we can actually fly around the planet and it looks extremely legit looks like something you definitely see in an earth-like world but at the same time it's not a super functional design and the whole balloon on top is not really doing much but hiding an interior that you could build itself but a very nice little design and i'm going to continue working on the fallout sort of concept but i just wanted to bring you some ideas of creating the gas sort of chambers and hopefully modders will develop it or even the developers themselves will clock on to this whole unique sort of factor that you could use this for 